The Wake Forest Demon Deacons head on up to Connecticut. That's right. Uh, stores, I believe. And this is a tricky one, right? Because you got a team that has obviously played better throughout the course of the season and another one that's uh, that's starting to look a little bit better here as of late. But UConn is a one-and-a-half-point home favorite here, total of 57 and a half. And this is a pretty big game at home for UConn. They're welcoming in an ACC opponent. No, Wake Forest is not a huge name team, but this is still a, uh, a proving ground, if you will, for the Huskies. You start to dive into these numbers, and Wake Forest's defense is about as bad as you can get. Their PPA allowed per drive, and PPA, by the way, predicted points added allowed per drive, number 132 in the country. There's 134 FBS teams. That's bad. Like, it's it's as close to the bottom as you can get. Number 133 in defensive success rate allowed. That is atrocious. Now, where there is a little bit of hope is on the offensive side of the ball, which obviously makes sense. Dave Clawson, the claw fence, you get how that works. They're number 70 in PPA per pass. Well, UConn is number 21 in PPA allowed per pass. Uh, they are number 10 in passing success rate allowed. And Wake Forest is number 96. Now, Wake, it looks like, can run the ball. Number 45 PPA per rush, number 25 rushing success rate. The problem is they only run the ball 42.9% of the time. And, of course, toss in the fact that UConn's defense is pretty good at stopping that, too. Now, you look at the strength of schedule, UConn has faced the number 114 current strength of schedule. Wake Forest, number 45. Wake has had to play Clemson. They had to play Ole Miss. They have been through it. However, sounds like Hank Bachmeyer still a little bit banged up. That's the quarterback for Wake Forest. If he is not ready to go, that could certainly uh, hurt things, right? Full season numbers, I've got UConn favored by 11.3. The last four weeks, stats have got Wake Forest favored by 11. I am going to go with the team that does not have the banged up quarterback, Uh Jim Mora is doing a pretty good job. The defense coordinator, Matt Brock. Gordon Samus is doing a good job. The offense coordinator there. I uh, I think UConn is just the better football team, and I'm only having to lay one and a half at home. Give me UConn minus the one and a half on this one. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question... You can email me, Gary, at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.